Schools say that their dress codes are designed to keep students on task and appropriately dressed for learning. But last month, girls accounted for nine out of every 10 dress code violations at Bartram Trail High School. Now, some students say things need to change. Haley Harrison is on your side, speaking with a sophomore who took those concerns straight to the St. Johns County School Board. A sophomore at Bartram Trail High School, Lila Kazervan, took the mic on Tuesday, not just because she herself has been sent home or had to change into baggy shirts during the school day. She tells me she wants to be the voice for all female students. We are high school students from ages 14 to 18, and the school gives us the responsibility of an adult, but compel us to live under the rules and regulations of a child. Layla Kazervan using her voice to take a stand against her school district's dress code. Um, it felt very um, powerful and I felt like I'm taking an initiative to make a change. Kazervan, who is tired of seeing only girls regularly pulled from class, says she has been disciplined for dress code at least 10 times this school year. And one day she was sent to the dean's office because her leggings were too tight. You know, it ruins my whole day and I have to miss out on learning and classes and you know I fall behind because just because of what I was wearing. She believes being called out in class is more of a distraction than what she and other female students wear. First Coast News reported earlier this week that 90% of dress code violations at Bartram Trail High School in March were for girls according to district records. For the entire school year up until about February 83% of dress code violations at nearly all the schools were for girls. I would like to see um, you know a slight change at least when it comes to men and women and equality. The St. Johns County School District has said dress code changes can be brought up when the student code of conduct is reviewed in May. Kazervan says she hopes the district and students can meet in the middle and give women in particular more leniency. It's, it's not going to be a fast process. Obviously, that's not what I'm looking for, but I do want the school board members to take this seriously. This is a big deal and it's it's been a problem in our culture for so long. Now, an online petition uh, now has more than 45 signatures calling for the change of the dress code. And as the district told us earlier this week, they do expect updates to be made this summer. Live in St. Johns County, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.